God bless you. Pastor Merv Massey, New Living Word. What time is it? What time is it? Well, today it's time to change. It is time to change. Change is inevitable. Change is eventual. And one thing that's for sure about life is change. And we're here. We've got to change. One of the effects of COVID-19 is change. It has given us an indication of things that we may face in the future. And so to be prepared for those things, we need to change now. And I want to share some practical things uh, that we need to look at, that we need to change, and the things that we have learned. Don't stop doing them. Continue to do them. When this particular episode is over, don't go back to the old way of thought. Don't go back to the old outlook. It's got to change. Our thought have got to change. Our outlook have got to change. And if our hope is not in Christ Jesus, if our hope is not in eternal life, then our hope has to change. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And so there are some things that uh, this particular episode of COVID-19 has taught us. And we need to learn from this and continue to do this and be prepared uh, for eternal life. Be prepared for whatever comes. And then don't forget, we're also helping prepare our children because our children sooner or later are going to become adults and they're going to have to face some things that we're facing and they'll already be prepared because you taught them and you taught them well. Praise the Lord. So first of all, I want to take a look at Daniel, the 12th chapter and verse number four. The Bible says, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, seal the book, even to the time of the end. He says, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Folks, we're just here and that's just all it is to it. We're just here and we must change and adapt uh, because in this environment, God has still given us the church to be the light in darkness. God has still given us in the church to preserve life in the name of Jesus because we are still the gate of heaven that people's souls will be saved for eternity. Amen. And so there are things that we need to look at, things we need to upgrade to make sure that we're on the path. Listen, God thrusts the church into social media. <laughs> if you didn't want to be in social media, you're there now. Amen. And it's God's purpose and intent because the Bible says when Jesus returned, every eye shall see him. How? Because everybody is connected. Everybody is connected. So you hear a lot of talk about 5G, good, bad. Guess what? It's here. It's here. So uh, number one category I want to talk about, everything is connected. Everything is connected. So it's a reality of life. Smartphone and apps, they are a reality. So go ahead and upgrade your smartphones. Amen. Get your get your smartphone and 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 uh, and maybe that's for some of the older older saints. And uh, because you can use it, you can do it. No question about it. And um, go ahead and upgrade those uh, 4K smart TVs. Uh, listen, you see what's happening now. Uh, we're live streaming, and uh, some people want to look at it in a, in a bigger uh, context. And uh, so uh, for Mama, y'all help Mama upgrade a little old TV. And uh, so that she can uh, catch uh, uh, the live stream services, get her a 4K TV, get her some internet going so that she can connect. All she needs to do is turn over there and connect and uh, teach her how to do that. Uh, get your battery backup supply for your Wi-Fi modem uh, so that you, if power goes out for any reason, you're still connected. Get your backup uh, battery supply for 
uh, your Wi-Fi modem. I, I'll just go ahead and say this too. There's some other things, but uh, you know, one of the things too, even if power's out, you know, uh, there's so much efficient lighting today. And uh, buy you some uh, lanterns uh, with these LED lights, and uh, you know, we we've, we've been doing that, and uh, over the last couple of years, and and uh, you'll have those available as well. Batteries, you have those things as well. The other thing I want to uh, share with you is work on your health, on your health. COVID has taught us that people with underlying uh, conditions are dying. So during this time, we need to change our health. Those things are preventable. We need to change our eating habit and, uh, and develop good health, all right? Walk and exercise. Eat, drink water, walk and exercise. Cut back on uh, all of the uh, the stuff, the snack stuff, and uh, begin to get your health together because that way anything attacking you, you are stronger and more likely to overcome it even if something touched you. So please work on your health. I was determined uh, that I was not going to eat myself to death when uh, we were sent home from school and stuff, and I knew I was still going to be working, and uh, but I knew that I was not, and very thank God for his grace, uh, uh, I've lost about 20 pounds, and so I'm grateful to God for that. Let's get ourselves in good health. The other thing is our finance. You know I'm always going to talk about finance. Uh, our finance is very important. Amen. It's very important. One thing that COVID has taught us that, uh, uh, that the things that are important are the essential things. With finance, we need to, you know, we need to purchase essential things because you can't go to the movies, you can't go on a trip, you can't go on vacation, you can't. So, so the one thing's important is let's set our priority for essential things with our finance before we do all those other things. Let's set our finance for essential things. Number one, give God 10%. Don't make it an option. You need the windows of heaven open to you at all times. You need the windows of heaven. Give God tithe, first fruits offering. You need God's blessing in the midst of it all. Uh, save three to six months. How am I going to save three to six months, Pastor? It's called sacrifice. That's what it is. That's how you do it. You save a thousand dollars. How? Sacrifice. A month. Sacrifice. Three months. Sacrifice. All the way to six months. Sacrifice. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pay off your debts. Don't buy unnecessary things till you get this done. Stay the course in Jesus' name. Uh, continue. And then after you've done this, you've got, you got three, six months saved, debts paid off. Continue to invest. Uh, uh, invest, save, not be anything extravagant. I don't have time to go through all of that now to have anything, but continue to invest and save a minimum of 10% of your income all the time. The government, is, the government is bailing us out now, but will the government always be there to bail us out? All right? So save that amount. And then uh, make sure that your life insurance, health insurance, auto, home, and renter's insurance is, is up to date. That is so very important. There are certain things that can happen to us that are not uh, under uh, our control because we don't know what everybody else is going to do. That's the whole idea of insurance. And uh, so make sure that you're including those renters because there's so many, uh, right now we see the weather and how it's acting. And my God, you look up and you don't know what the weather is going to do to cause so many things that could cause a catastrophe to your home. And if you're a renter, uh, yes, that person uh, has insurance on that home, but look at all the stuff that you have acquired. So make sure that you are, you have your insurance. It's now it's family, the category of family. And what we're asking you to do is husband and wife, work together, pray, plan, strategize, and set goals together. Praise the Lord. Have family dinners now. Have family dinners and with, with all the technology turned off, praise the Lord. With the children, take time, as I said before, to teach them spiritually, teach them educationally, and to teach them with chores and responsibilities around the house and, and with other family members. I have to go help grandma. I have to go help auntie and them. I have to help papa and them. And uh, teach them how to honor 
mama and papa. Teach them how to honor them. And then have recreation with them. Recreation? Yeah. Bike riding. Uh, catch a, playing catch with a ball. Uh, hitting a ball or badminton. Uh, have recreation with your children. Get them off of all that technology all day long, looking at them screens, playing them games. And then the next category is spiritually. And what I'm telling you, put God first. Seek him first. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. Praise the Lord. And this, this season of time, we're learning to read the word. We must read the word. We must hear the word. We must see the word, videos. We must believe the word. We must receive the word. Praise the Lord. These things we must do and not turn from it once we come out of this. Remember, family worship. Family worship. When you're live streaming, you're looking in the live stream worship, go ahead and get the kids up. Go ahead and get the teens out the bed. Come on, come on. Now it's time to get in front of your technology and we're going to worship the Lord. Amen. And please don't forget prayer. Remember the power of prayer. The power of prayer. You're connecting to the true and living God. You're connecting to the God that has all power. You're connecting to the God that's able to do all things. And you want to stay connected with him through prayer as well. Prayer is intimate relationship with God. And then to take us one step deeper, we want to make sure to take a fast day. Take a fast day to discipline ourselves spiritually, to discipline ourselves uh, physically, to discipline ourselves, and fasting takes us on the inside of things. Amen? We can see what we see with our eyes, but when we begin to fast, then God will show us why. Amen? To draw that, uh, draw you clearer, draw you, you are in the world, but you're not of the world. And so to draw into why things are happening. And so the Bible said the sons of Issachar, they understood the times of Caesar, and they knew what to do. Oh my God, when you begin to pray and fast, God will unlock those things. Thank you, beloved. Thank you today. Amen. These things uh, that we have learned, let's stay focused. Amen. That we cannot uh, change from them. We have to continue to do these things that we have learned. Let me pray with you today. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. You've given us eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to receive what you, what, what you are speaking. You said he that has an ear. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. My God. Father, we want to be in tune. And we, we, we are going to change. We're not going to fight changing. But we're going, to, we're going to come out on top in the name of Jesus. Of all the changes that are taking place, you've assured us of this. And so we want to come out on top. We want to be ready and prepared for what comes next. Glory to God. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. You that are not... Uh, born again, we guess what? You need to change. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are seeing all these things that are happening, the weather, uh, COVID-19, the, the government, how the world, world is changing. Guess what? That means it's time for you to change. It's time for you to give your heart to Jesus Christ. It's time. It's time. All of this stuff pass away. Everything. The earth and, and, and the Bible says the heavens and the earth will pass away, but not God's word. You must be born again. If you've not accepted Jesus Christ, it's time to change. You've got to change. And now you've got to allow Jesus to save your soul. And you've got to allow Jesus to be your Lord. You're going to follow him now. You've been following your own ways, but now it's time to follow God. Let me pray with you. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Jesus, come into my heart. It's time for me to change. Change me. I want everything in my life to change. And the one way that everything changes in my life is when you come into my life. All things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. Come into my life, Lord. Save me today. 
Lead me and guide me by your spirit through all of this. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. What time is it? It's time to change.